let's transition to the NFL MVP for the 2023 season, and let's talk about who I expect to take home the award. You see the odds in front of your screen. Jalen Hurts comes in at plus 1,100. Josh Allen is in third place at plus 850. Joey B is a plus 750. And Patrick Mahomes is a plus 600. So I'm going to give my MVP one to three. So I'm going to give you my top three MVP candidates this year and who I expect to win the award. So I'm going to start off with three. My third player who I believe will finish in MVP voting is going to be Dak Prescott. Yes, I got Dak Prescott finishing third in MVP voting this year. Last year, Dak Prescott had 23 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. He led the league in interceptions thrown along with David Mills. I expect Dak to be better in 2023 because he didn't have a good 2022 season. He also has been put on alert now that Trey Lance is in Dallas. The clock is ticking on Dak Prescott. So I expect Dak to respond in the regular season and have a good regular season for the Cowboys. He got CeeDee Lamb. He got Brandon Cooks. He has Michael Gallup. So he has some weapons to throw the football to in that Cowboys offense. And if one, if it's one thing that we know about Dak Prescott, he's going to put up stats. He's going to put up numbers. Dak Prescott always puts up numbers. The biggest question for him is going to be, can he put up wins when it matters the most for the Cowboys? But this is a regular season award. So I expect Dak Prescott to be top three in NFL MVP voting. He ain't number two, though. That's going to go to none other than Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes comes in at number two for me in my NFL MVP He's going to be number two on the MVP voting list for me because defensively, the Chiefs won't have Chris Jones possibly to start the season. So they're going to need Patrick Mahomes to win some shootouts for the Chiefs to be successful to start the season. And he has Travis Kelsey, but he doesn't really have a true number one receiver. But we know that the Chiefs' calling card is them throwing the football. Despite them having a subpar slash average defense, we don't expect the Kansas City Chiefs to run the football. They're going to throw the football all over the yard with Patrick Mahomes. So I expect Mahomes to put up big numbers this year. Statistically, I think this could be arguably his best statistical season so far in his career. Because they're not going to have Chris Jones. So they know that the recipe for them to be able to win games is going to be to put the football in Patrick Mahomes' hands and have him deliver the goods. He's done it before. He's going to do it again. Patrick Mahomes comes in at number two on my NFL MVP ballot. He ain't number one, though, and that's because the player who I expect – to win NFL MVP, he's not even on the list. He's not even on the list on the odds on the screen. The player who I expect to win the 2023 NFL MVP is none other than Lamar Jackson. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have Lamar Jackson winning the 2023 NFL MVP award. The Baltimore Ravens finally they finally got Lamar Jackson, some reliable, elite, yes, elite, skill position players in Odell Beckham, in Zay Flowers. He still has Mark Andrews. You got J.K. Dobbins in the backfield. I expect Lamar Jackson to have an MVP season, and this time his MVP season is going to be because he's throwing the football, not running with the football. When he won his previous MVP, it was mainly because he was running the football effectively and was a dynamic playmaker with the football in his hands. This season, I expect Lamar Jackson 
to be a dynamic quarterback as a pocket passer. So, yes, Lamar Jackson is my 2023 NFL MVP. Those are my 2023 NFL MVP predictions. At third, I got Dak Prescott. At second, I got Patrick Mahomes. At one, I got Lamar Jackson taking home his second NFL MVP of his career.